Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get this unit review of the uh, Dima cards. Well, ah, but they're going to be getting Awakenings into the mini versions. Man, do I still do this unit review? I mean, we're already into it, so we might as well. Okay, um, when they do get Awakenings, I'm just going to have to swing the block and do another unit review, ain't, ain't I? I am. All right, wh whatever. I, I just wanted to do a unit review on these cards because I thought it'd be fun. Um, so we're just gonna do it anyways. We'll just do a unit review again for their awakenings, because I mean, why not? Um, so uh, the Dima cards. Let's go and talk about them. So their leader skills are both all types, two key, and thirty percent of the stats, and their super attacks. Well, super attack effects. Well, super attack that being the Kamehameha for the Goku and the Gala Gun for the Vegeta. Vegeta gets thirty percent defense one turn, obviously being better, and the Goku gets thirty percent attack one turn, obviously not that great because of course. Uh, defense is dominant um and the passive for goku and of course vegeta one's all out training and then one's post meal training 100 percent attack and defense as well as all allies get one key and 20 percent attack and uh, he launches an additional attack that's a 30 percent chance come a super attack just unrestricted and he gets an additional 20 percent attack and defense up to 60 percent and a 10 percent chance to create up to 30 percent each attack performed so he has to do three attacks to build up his uh, attack and defensive buff as well as his crit chance and of course as directly supported by the fact that this guy does have additional super attack chance and if you don't get the additional super attack chance off it's fine because this card just needs attacks to build up and guess what you just launch a guaranteed additional anyways to build that up regardless and of course the nice thing about this card is the fact that he is supporting now on over to vegeta vegeta is pretty much uh, similar to this goku only thing that's really different is the fact that he has guard chance and he has to take hits to build up and he's giving a uh, key and defense rather than goku's key and attack so this guy has to take three hits to build up uh and uh, goku has to uh, do three attacks to build up goku is meant to be more offense oriented because he has additional super attack chance as well as him giving attack support uh he builds up off of doing attacks so i guess you could pair those hand in hand as well as him getting an attack buff when performing a super attack for one turn. And then Vegeta, I guess, is more defensive oriented because he has a 50% chance to guard. He's giving defensive support. He builds up off of taking hits, as well as him getting a defensive buff for one turn. And uh, the link set for the Goku, same warrior race, all in the family, experienced fighters, the same lineage, shocking speed, and prepare for battle, as well as his categories being Pure Saiyan, Goku's family, Kamehameha, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, Bond of Parent and Child, and Earth Red Fighters, as well as Vegeta's categories being on Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Worthy Rivals, Gifted Warriors, Bond of Parent and Child. So he has much more or less categories than a Goku in his link set, that being Saiyan Warrior Race, Prodigies, Experienced Fighters, the Saiyan Lineage, uh, Royal Lineage, and Prepare for Battle. So Goku would have the upper hand in links because he has links like All in the Family, he has Prepare for Battle, Shock, and Speed, and the Saiyan Lineage. That combo of links is just crazy for linking up with Key. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much that for the Diamond cards. Let's see what 200% leader skills these cards are on. Now, I did load up these pages a little late. So yeah, I, kn I knew my Chrome was going to freeze. <laughs> I loaded up these pages as soon as I got home and I had to go feed my dog. And I just let it load and it just stood static just there for a little while. So Goku's 200% leader skills that he's on. He's on six 200% leader skills. And the Vegeta 200% leader skills he's on. I don't imagine there would be a lot. He's on three. It makes a lot of sense considering the fact that he's not in many categories. So, yeah. So, that would be all. His best linking partner would be the SSR to... Okay, that's a Dragon Ball Heroes card. But what Dragon Ball Heroes card is this? It's Xeno Vegeta. Oh, my God. I forgot his name. That's how you know I'm not really into Dragon Ball Heroes. He's a summonable card, right? I believe he's summonable. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's summonable. Um, same with... I'll see the Goku's best linking partner. It's the SSR to the transforming Goku. Oh, my God. Good Lord. <laughs> so um that's about it can't really say are they performing great for this man they're just trophy cards to just to sum it up and it came out just about four days ago um i'm pretty certain that didn't daima come out the day of i think i haven't even got the chance to take a look at the first episode for daima i'm gonna check it out when i get the chance but that's gonna be about it um i appreciate you guys for watching you guys are the best we're gonna do another video on their post awakenings because why not yeah why not um i will be showing granted i remember i will be showing dokkan world's uh, videos on goku and vegeta for when they do get their waiting rather than just now because of course i mean 
I'd rather see what they're doing post awakening rather than pre awakening, even though I'm reading them out inside their pre awakening. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Join the 24 7 Disco server. A link is down below in the description. You guys can join today. Uh, and that is all. Leave a like, subscribe. Peace.